Ready for the restart. Whoops, hang on. A couple trying to sneak up the spot. Gary Smith thought he maybe no one might see me if I duck through on the inside. But they uh, pinched him. So uh, bad luck for Smith. Tried to get the jump. They want to catch up though. Pattinson and Weaver will come off the front row of the grid. All the rest say, hey, hang on a minute, the lights are flashing. We're about to get the green flag, and they do to send them on their way, and it's Weaver. who got away well on the outside line, and he might take that advantage into the first turn, does he, down back straight away. Ah, oh, Rob Maunder got the nice foot through the middle, and now Smith's all over the shop. Looks like he might have brought someone undone, but the race continues. Out in front, it's a 66 of Maunder. Second spot, Weaver. Look at the charge of cars. Patterson's there. There goes uh, Perkins in the 96, trying to push his way up. Brad Gomans down low on the track. Car number 11 looking for third place and might nearly even get it if he can keep the car on the circuit. He's back in fourth placing. Here comes uh, Gary Morris in the 26 car making his move very quickly up on the inside. Then he goes through on Brown in the 64 car, but Brown comes back at him. Meanwhile up front, it's Weaver now making a throw for the race lead. It's Maunder now on the inside. Weaver on the outside gets the advantage of the power. On the inside, Maunder though. Maunder hangs on to the advantage. On the outside, Weaver though is going to have to tuck in behind him, I think, because he's not going to get the power he needs. Back in third place, and it's all over the place. There's a lot of cars starting to bunch themselves up. There's Warwick in car number 20 starting to work his way through the field as well. He's done well to get up the fifth spot. Perkins is dropping back through the field, so too is Pattinson, who's got trouble with the car. And Steve West now, West, he starts to make his way up through the field to try and get to this race lead. But in the meantime, Rob Maud is out in front of Weaver in second spot. He's starting to lose ground. There's a car sideways. That's Lawrence Chant in car 121, and he parks it on the infield. The race still continues with seven laps left to run. Rob Maunder is the race leader. Second place is Weaver. Then we've got Brad Gaiman in third place, and he's done well to get up to third, Brad Gaiman. He was back on the grid a little bit. Then comes Morris in the 26 car, the 20 of Warwick, and Steve West. That might be the group of five cars to keep your eye on because they're top guns, those five, and they're all battling it out for uh, second spot at the moment on the racetrack. Brad Gaiman getting up on the inside of Weaver to make this battle for second, a hot one. Rob Maunder's certainly got the clear lead. Weaver gets up on the outside of Gaiman. Gaiman comes back at him on the inside. Gaiman on the inside and Weaver on the outside in this battle for second place. Gary Morris gets a caution flag and so too does Steve Warwick as they go down into turn one, two. What a charge of cars behind the leader, Rob Maunder. Gaiman and Weaver, well they've been running side by side for about a lap and a half now. And Gaiman on the inside, Weaver on the outside. Weaver comes back at Gaiman. Gomans comes back up on the inside of Weaver. Neither of these two will give in. The slower car of Blanche won't come into play because he moved up high on the racetrack. Weaver now sneaks out in front of Brad Gomans, trying to get some breathing space. But he's staying up high on the racetrack and giving Gomans that opportunity to go up on the inside. Here's the Steve West coming up on the inside of Gary Morris. And West gets up right onto the back bumper of Gomans. Oh, Gomans made it difficult for West then. He got up on the wind row and started to lose control. Now he drifts back out onto the racetrack. He's given West holy hell behind him. Steve West doesn't know where to go. Now West comes round the outside of him and he moves up into third place. So this is a good drive by West, the New South Wales champ, will be defending his title in about three weeks' time. And that's why he's getting used to this race car. But coming down, one lap to go, our race leader Rob Maunder in the new car. He'll be happy with being able to grab a checkered flag on his first night out. Weaver is second, but now West is climbing all over the back of him in the challenge for second spot. He might get Weaver in this slower traffic too. Half a lap to go. Rob Maunder's going to take the race out. You can write him down. Let's have a look at the battle for second as they come into the main straightaway. West gets up on the inside of Weaver. Oh, good drive by West to come through to second. A super drive. Weaver finishes third. Gaiman is fourth. Morris is fifth. Warwick is sixth. Then came Dave Brown and John Perkins with a flat tyre. 3.45.915 the time and a great drive by Rob Maunder to uh, win the car race but a very good drive by Steve West to come through into second place ahead of John Weaver finished third Brad Gaiman coming through in fourth place 3.45.915 
So a good drive by Rob Munda in the new car tonight for Hunter Valley Auto Dismantlers. He gets up to uh, win the race. But an equally good drive by the second place New South Wales champ Steve West and John Weaver for third.